Good afternoon. I'm very delighted that I'm allowed to help celebrate the 10th birthday of the Donostia International Physics Center and also celebrate the human passion for knowledge. Uh, today, I wanted to tell you about my own passion, my passion for precision. And that has to do with knowledge. How, how does one gain new knowledge? More than 40 years ago, when I was a graduate student at the University of Heidelberg, my professor, Christoph Schmelzer, had good advice how to gain new knowledge. He said, well, you have to look where no one has looked before. And for him, that meant, meant building larger accelerators to uh, look at particle collisions at higher and higher energy. And for me, it meant using lasers to make measurements that were more precise than anybody had been able to do before. I feel fortunate that, I, that the laser was invented just a few years before I started my graduate studies. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of the laser in this year because in May 1960, Ted Maiman realized the first ruby laser. The race to build the first laser was triggered actually two years earlier by Art Charlo and Charlie Towns with a seminal paper on infrared and optical lasers. Charlie Towns has written a book giving his perspective of these exciting years. And there he has also a passage uh, praising precision measurements, the steady improvement in technologies that afford higher and higher precision has been a regular source of excitement and challenge during my career. In science, as in most things, whenever one looks at something more closely, new aspects almost always come into view. Of course, uh, the exploration of light and its interaction with matter goes way back, centuries back. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton was perhaps the first to study systematically what happens if you take a beam of white sunlight and send it through a prism that disperses it into a rainbow of colors. 